Today I want to talk of small habits that we do day to day. Many times we don't focus on the little things that we do, but these little things really have impact in our lives. Look at the things that you do when you wake up in the morning. Look at your morning routine. What is your morning routine? Are you a person who wakes up in the morning and says a prayer? Are you a person who wakes up in the morning and meditates? Or are you a person who wakes up in the morning and just jumps out of bed? Or are you a person like who is really carried away by social media that when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do is you switch on your phone, you start looking at the latest posts and you start commenting and you start looking at what people, other people are doing out there. What kind of a routine do you have in the morning? These are small habits that if we accumulate them uh, in the long run, they become, uh, they become uh, these are small habits that become part of us. They become our daily routine and eventually it becomes part of us. So uh, uh, check yourself, have a self check and ask yourself, what do I do in the morning? And ask yourself, what is this that you'd like to be doing in the morning? Or what, what kind of results do you want to drive during the day? Then ask yourself, the way you wake up and the things you do in the morning, are they aligned in what you want for the day? Because whatever you do today and then you do tomorrow, eventually this becomes what you do in your life so just look at look at what you do most of the times and see if it's in, in line with what you want or in line with how you'd like your life to change uh, in that direction uh, other things that we need to pay attention is how do do uh, look at the self-talk that you have with yourself is it a positive self-talk is it a negative self-talk do you uh, are you hard on yourself what kind of an internal talk do you have with yourself be gentle ask yourself and then if it is a talk that you really don't like if you find all most of the times you are mad with yourself either with your physical look or either with anything um whatever it is that is going on in you whatever uh, what kind of a, uh, internal talk do you have with yourself try to cultivate a positive internal talk look at the things that most of the times you read what kind of reading uh, literature do you go through do you go through books that are motivational do you go through books that are pornographic do you go through books that are um, inspirational what kind of reading materials do you go through look at things that you watch during the day what kind of movies what kind of um, uh, videos do you really entertain because this eventually becomes your habit they become you the more you watch this thing this is the this is the reality this is the world that you're creating around yourself eventually you will become like these people because this is what is revolving around you this is what is just going on in your life so ask yourself whatever i'm reading whatever I'm watching is it in line with where I want to be in future if not just change it it might be something small to do this it might be some a very small gesture for you to tune in and change into reading something different or into watching something different but it's gonna help you instead of you sitting down and watching a horror movie or something uh, take your time go to the internet go to YouTube watch something that is in line with what you like if it is interior design check out things if it is something to do with fashion look at it if it is something to do with um, what is this if it is something to do with um, like uh, technology go and look at it e uh, educate yourself more dig more into where you want to go yes of course there's leisure time but the thing is we are talking about the habits that you create day to day really determines your destination. And then uh, one thing that I would like to point out is whom do you share your energy with? What kind of people do you associate yourself with? You know, sometimes we find that our the people that we associate to ourselves with, the energy that they emit is really negative. You find that sometimes you have friends who keep uh, complaining. All colleagues who keep whining, keep complaining, whether about themselves, they talk negative about other people. Everything they talk, it's something to it has something negative in that. And then you find that the energy is so um, it's so negative that it keeps draining you. Every time you are like, oh my god, I have to listen to this again. You do not have to go through this. Detach yourself from such because this energy drains your energy out. It takes your energy away. You need positive energy to be productive. So 
So you don't have to associate yourself with people who are constantly negative. Yes, we might have a negative situation in a day. That is okay. You can discuss about it. But when it becomes a habit that you're associating yourself with people who are really negative, then this can affect you. So try to detach yourself from that. And last but not least, also try to look at who access your life. Who have you given them access to your life you need to be careful on who you allow to be in your life there are people who are in your life but they are not there because they like you they're just there because you have allowed them to be these are people who will sometimes pretend they're friends they mask themselves they pretend to be so nice to you but they just mask themselves deep inside they wish the worst for you these are people who will try to sabotage your efforts these are people who are actually feeling bad when you're doing anything good these are people who will try to show you that their life is better than yours or they will try to undermine your efforts you do not need such energy you need peace you need positivity Any Anything that is not in line with that you need to drop it so if you find that the people that you've allowed them to access your life they are coming in a way that you don't want don't ask uh, don't be lenient or don't try to compromise what you want to uh, to have or where you want to reach decide it is your life just say like I do not need this don't allow them to access your life put a block it this is like your your sanctuary it is your your home put that padlock on that door let the person who enters your place uh, your 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 space is someone that you know they're there for good and they wish the best for you anybody else just block them and leave them out of your life i hope i spoke to somebody today and until next time thank you so much for watching have a blessed day